Hey guys, time for another Unity tutorial. We're gonna be going over animating. By now you should have a character that is rigged and we're good to go. First things first, let's create another folder because we like to stay organized. We're gonna call this animation. And we'll select our rig, okay? And we're missing a tab here. So let's hit this hamburger button, add tab, animation. Before we go any further, I need to make sure that these targets are organized in an empty within the rig. So with the rig selected, we're gonna create a new empty and let's rename this to be rig underscore IK. Grab all of our targets and put that inside of our rig IK. So let's click on our rig, hit create to create an animator and an animation clip. Okay, so this is our very first animation. We'll do paymaster underscore idle. This will be our idle animation for our paymaster. So let's hit add property. And we control down the animation for the rig itself or we can come down here and control all of our rig IK targets. So for this first one, we're going to select our low torso, hit our position, add an animation. So this will animate our low torso. And we have our start and end keyframes here. So you wanna leave those be. If you scroll out, then we can change the time of our total animation. Let's go ahead and make this 10 seconds long. So there's our 10 second mark right there. And we can grab this top key here to grab all the keyframes in this column. And we'll drag it over to be 10 seconds. And let's go right in the middle at five seconds. And let's select the position, because that's what we wanna animate. And with this green arrow, we can move our torso down. And he's going to animate very slowly for us over 10 seconds. That's probably a little too slow. So let's move things to the one and a half second range. So we've got one and a half seconds three seconds four and a half move up to six seconds and then we can actually move our out point from ten seconds to nine seconds to keep our second and a half loop going now we've got our loop and there was much rejoicing and just for reference, we can hold down the Alt key and hit comma or period to jump between different keyframes. Okay, so now that we have our base animation in here, it's time to start adding some secondary animation. We can add property. Let's go to our key master low torso, since we don't have IK set up on this arm. Up torso, and then arm right. Let's go ahead and add a rotation. Beginning and end keyframes are here, just as you might expect. And a secondary animation is gonna move a little separate, but in reaction to the primary animation. So by moving down, the money bag's gonna keep moving down as its own bit of gravity. So we'll click on our arm, hit E to rotate. Let's rotate this down by a few degrees here. And we are four segments away from the other keyframes, so we'll keep that consistent. Let's copy this keyframe over, but then move it up. So let's select both of these, hold down Control or Command. We'll copy those, and then we'll paste them into our next two keyframes here. And then we'll wanna copy our, our higher keyframe in and then paste it at the beginning of our loop here. And let's hit play. And there was much rejoicing. So notice his arm bag seems to be pulsing like his breathing here. It doesn't seem terribly reactionary. It just looks like that's now the main animation. And part of that is because it's moving so much. But the other part of it is that we need to shrink down how much that animates. I went ahead and made his right arm movement up be less dramatic. But now as it's moving, it's being very reactionary. And just like that, we have an idle animation. So we're done with this. It's time to move on to the next animation. We can select the down list, create new clip. Now we can save a new file. So we can save this one as excited. And now we can just start animating the next thing. So we've taken a rigged character. We've organized the IKs into their own empty. We've added animation to them and created a simple loop using only a couple of parameters. Your own animations will end up a lot more complicated than this one. This tutorial is just meant to show you the technical aspects of animating a 2D character in Unity. So good luck. Thanks for watching.